okay so I carried on adding the tissue paper with the gel and I've gone over that and heated it with the heat gun so you can see already we've got a really nice texture going on there we're just going to continue adding some interest with texture with a stencil so this is the bubble stencil from Tim Holtz um, these are in a handy tag shape with a hole punched in there so you can use uh, the metal hoops that you use for tag albums and you know the flip album sort of things to store these or you can store them up on racks and things you know so they're really handy to store so we're going to carry on with some more texture this time i'm going to use the prima modeling paste uh, i am as you may all know by now a bit of a prima holic um, I'm very much one for not spending money where it's necessary. However, I just find with the Prima stuff, it's just such a quality. It's something I'm prepared to spend a bit more money on. Uh, I just I haven't found anything yet that compares to these uh, mediums that Prima brought out. So, you know, that's my choice. This is where I'm going to spend my money. So I'm just using my tool um, and spreading it on. Don't scrape, don't stab it. You know, it's like you're decorating a cake, imagine. So nice and smoothly. Now remember, this is a, a quite a heavy medium. So the, the texture that you create spreading this is gonna stay there so if you don't want lines and stuff in there you know you need to go nicely with that so I'm just taking this right to the edge because I've left some of the journal showing I'm just going to drag this right out to the edge to create some interest there. And this is another reason I've put the ink mat underneath so we can get these edges that you will want to take off. Okay. See that's created a nice texture. So I'm going to bounce that by adding some on the other side. Uh, this is a bit awkward on the edge because we've got those rings in the way. I'm just going to do a nice band down the edge there. Don't worry about getting it on the rings, and I'm going to do a little patch up here. Just a little bit down here as well. And so remember that this stuff is permanent when dry, so you're going to want to clean. Stencil. So we'll just move this out of the way a moment. And we'll give our stencil a good clean. Um, I don't have a sink in my crafting area, so I just go ahead with the baby wipe for now. 
be careful if your some of your stencils are a bit delicate pieces in them that you're not going to wreck them and then later on I just use simply some hot water and a bit of uh, washing up liquid to get the rest of that off because we don't want to wreck those stencils that will do and we'll just clean off our tool here so I'm going to move that out the way we're done with that one for now okay so I'm just going to get my hands a wipe now we're going to dry that off and then we're going to go in with some colour. So I'm just moving my mat out of the way. Ow! Caught my finger. Okay, so just going to dry this off. This is quite a thick um, paste, so you will need a little bit of patience while this dries. Um, you don't want to start spraying into it while it's wet, you're going to make a bit of a gooey mess. Um, they don't take too long to dry, it depends on the thickness you use and how much of it you're using. Uh, just keep moving the heat tool around. It's quite intense heat, so if you leave it for too long in one place, you're going to start bubbling this up. So we're nearly dry. Make sure this is all wet before we start adding liquid. It's going to get really messy. Okay, so that should do. So now we're going to add some colours. So I've got the paints that I told you about, our dilutions paints. So I'm going to add those and add a bit of water so that they run about. And then I'm going to go in with the Heidi inks that I told you about. So in this set, these are mini ones, so they're handy to carry around if you do journaling and planners and things, they're really little, they are, I think, they're one fluid ounce bottle, 29.6 mil. So here we've got peacock, hot pink and butter. So I'll go in with the paint first and the blue we're just going to use a little bit in the ink because that's going to be like our accent colour if you like because the others are hot kind of colours so let's get my bigger paintbrush okay so what I'm going to do is just add little dabs And then I'm going to apply some water. And I'm going to let that run a little bit. So I'm just misting it a bit. So I'll 
show you. And we're just letting that run down. Okay. Look at that nice colour. Just clean, be naughty. I will clean my brush. I always forget to bring a water pot whenever I'm doing anything. Let's put in some colours. Let those run a little bit together. And when you're happy with the one colour, you don't want it to run anymore, just dry that off. Um, then that will set that colour. Sorry, talking with a paintbrush in my mouth. Bring back my mat. Oops. Going to need to get some more water. Dab this around a bit. And those colours. So remember to keep these tissues. You can tear those up for journal pages another time. So we'll add a bit of the orange. You don't need a lot of this, they are very vibrant and they're very thick, so quite a lot. Uh, this goes, oh, put your teeth in. A little goes a long way, I'm trying to say. You can see that, sorry, keep putting things in your way. See that nice texture here? I'm going to gently drag that because we don't want this, you know, this is a paste we've applied wet to, so we don't want that to start running off everywhere. So that's looking quite nice already. I'm going to dry this a little bit and add some of our inks. I'm going to pause here and come back with the inks. Bye!